What is going on guys? This is Miasin and yet again uh, this is uh, I think like the fourth time in a row where I can't make a live reaction video because the ban list was dropped during a regional for me yesterday <laughs> so obviously uh, yeah this is why I'm kind of late. I didn't want to upload a video when I came back home at like 9 p.m. yesterday so yeah might as well do it today and obviously this is not a live reaction because I was spoiled numerous times what the ban list was when I was um, you know playing the regional. I was like you know what might as well just make a video the day after where I talk about my thoughts about the ban list instead of kind of just uh, faking to react and honestly it's it's not even interesting at this point because you know it's, it's, it, everyone's doing it so I might as well kind of go like more in depth in order to kind of give you guys my insight and uh, thoughts on the I mean rather the implications of these cards uh, limitations and bans etc so obviously I already know what happened but yeah before we go any further I would really appreciate if you could smash the like and subscribe button thank you so much for the best and now let's proceed all right, so first things first, uh, this is going to be effective from April 15th, which is tomorrow. <laughs> and if you are in uh, Europe, uh, and, uh, I mean, Africa, why is this here? It's so random. Anyways, uh, Europe, uh, whatever ME is, and Oceania, this is going to be effective next week. So yeah, if you had regionals planned, uh, yeah, no, actually, this is not relevant. Anyways, the first card that got banned is Link Rebo, as you can clearly see in the picture. Nah. A good riddance, I mean, this was somewhat predictable. A lot of people uh, thought that Link Rebo would have gotten banned. And yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the card is rather good. It just turns any link, uh, level 1 monster into a Link 1 that can be uh, used as a material for SP Little Knight to give it that banish effect. Even though Relinquished Anima is a really good replacement, Link Rebo does have that graveyard effect where you can dodge Valor, Imperm, and stuff like that. And that's what really makes it unfair. Now, at this point, you could also blame the Snake Eyes deck for just being... Very, very good and abusing Link Rebo, but to be fair, Link Rebo has always been abused since the very start. So I just say it's a good thing that Link Rebo is finally getting banned, even though it is another one of those kind of main character ace cards, almost in a way similarly to Firewall Dragon. So it is very interesting to see that this is the second big anime card in a way, I think, that is getting banned, so yeah. Anyways, next up is a Baron de Fleur, the Omni Negate level 10 Synchro Monster. Again, <laughs> good riddance. I despise that card. I kept saying multiple times it should get banned. It's way too convenient, way too easy to set up its Omni Negate, and it's just really good in a simplified game state because you also get to return it back to the extra deck, revive back any level 9 lower monster from your grave. You can also destroy cards on the field. It's just overall an ex extremely good card. So yeah, huge... Uh, uh, huge hater of that card, so really happy that it is getting banned. Borderlord Savage is somewhat similar, but less generic, because you do have a, to have a link in the graveyard. It's a little weirder to see, because the only deck that was... I mean, no, actually, a few decks were using Borderlord Savage, like Dragon Link as well, but I mean, nobody cares, honestly, outside of, like, the Dragon Link players. Yeah, it's it's not that big, but yeah, Baron, see, uh, seeing it banned is really nice, and finally, Summon Limit getting banned. feel like a lot of other cards should have also gone banned on top of Summon Limit, like Anti-Spell, but... That's the reason why the limited section exists. So you got Arch Nemesis Protos going from 0 to 1. How big is that? Obviously, if this was a live reaction video, I would have freaked out. I would have been like, oh my god, this is insane. Sword Soul Tier 0, what the hell? Konami, are you kidding me? Realistically, this changes nothing because they lost Baron. So you gotta think, wow, now their, their deck loses to Nibiru like really, really hard. If they don't try to rush like the Baxian to Chao Feng line, obviously they can still do that. They can still play around Nibiru by just not allowing your opponent to use light effects. And then you can go Proto, Skull Fire by destroying the Link 2 Tenyi, or call, I don't know, Dark by destroying itself, and obviously it doesn't die, and then your opponent is still locked under Dark. So yeah, I mean, it's obviously a really good card, but, you know, it's it's not it's not like Sword Soul is doing anything in 2024 anyways. So yeah, it looks insane, but yeah, you're not really trying to play this card generically either, even though, again, it's, it's a good card again. Uh, title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, very easy to predict, absolutely nobody cares whatsoever, it's a very bad card, again, every single Dragon Ruler is horrendous, like absolute trash, I can't repeat myself enough, the reason why the Dragon Rulers were banned in the first place was not because the Dragon Rulers were good, but rather because Dark Matter Dragon forced them to be, <laughs> j j j to, to be banned, so yeah, it was really just because of Dark Matter, not even because of the Dragon Rulers themselves, the Dragon Rulers though, they did get limited because of their power level, that's, that's a different story. But yeah, title, everything else, they can all go back to 3, absolutely nobody would care. Especially not in 2024, <laughs> that's even worse. Alright, okay, this is, I want to say one of the most interesting hits in the ban list, or rather, like, unlimits, because it's a card that was banned. 
And this is Thunder Dragon Colossus, so it's going from 0 to 1. Pretty big, honestly. I feel like a lot of players are going to try to abuse this. Now, it's either going to be played in pure Thunder Dragon, which I don't even think is going to be good. In pure Thunder Dragon, Colossus as a 1 of is fine, but it's not the same thing as, you know, as a, as a 3 of. That's ridiculous, because it's basically a Link 1 monster. You use any Thunder monster on your field during the turn you activated a Thunder effect in your hand. And there is one Thunder monster that both activates in the hand and then summons itself on the field, and that is Nemesis Corridor. You can play this card generically, it's a level 4 monster. It's a summoning condition, you can special summon it from your hand by shuffling back a banished monster into your deck. And that synergizes really well with Destiny Hero Malicious. <laughs> oh man, this is disgusting. So, um, yeah, no, a few disgusting things that you can do now where that uh, Colossus is a, is a thing. You can somewhat play it in whatever deck you want, but I don't think people are necessarily going to be doing that. Maybe, though. Basically, if you are trying to abuse Colossus, you are also making Nibiru much better. And that is one massive comment that I've been uh, not only uh, noticing from other people, but also been agreeing with. Nibiru is getting so much better now because Baron is banned, Savage is banned. We are losing all of our counters to Nibiru. <laughs> it's, this is crazy. Like, how are you beating Nibiru now if you're playing a combo deck? It's it's getting rough, honestly. It's really getting rough to, like, force it. Like, you're gonna have to make an Apple very early on or something weird. Maybe SP Little Knight early on. So that if they go Nibiru, then you can banish yourself and then get back your monsters. But it's not that insane. It's not like you're negating the card. You're still letting it resolve, but with a lower impact. But now, Jesus, this is... Yeah, this is kind of crazy. So, honestly... It's really nice, again, to see these kinds of cards just getting unbanned so we can kind of have a better idea if it'll ruin the game or not. I think we are getting to the point where it can... I mean, Thunder Dragon Colossus, it's an, it's an unhealthy card for sure because if you don't have the counter to it, you lose the game. That, that's It's literally that simple. It's a mistake, so obviously almost every single deck in the game has to search and you will be getting shut down by this card more often than not. There are, a few decks that can play under this card, but even in like Fire King or Snake Eyes, if you don't have the ability to summon two monsters, the game ends. And there are not that many ways to even get two monsters on the field. You're gonna have to rely on like Dia Bellstar, hard drawing it, not even wanted, and then drawing like a Snake Eye monster that you can summon or like a hand shop or whatever. And then you make an SP and then you play after that, which is so much worse. And then you lose to like any interruption. It's 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 really not that good. So yeah, you really don't need much to win if you are playing Thunder Dragon Colossus in, like, whatever deck you're running. So yeah, very terrifying card. On the other hand, Magic Specter Unicorn Karen absolutely sucks. It changes nothing to the game. Even in the Magic Specter deck itself, it doesn't add anything because the deck is already an FTK deck when it goes first. The issue is going second. And Kirin makes your going second even worse because now we've got an extra useless card in your hand. Which you are drawing one game out of seven. So do you want that? The answer is most definitely not. Yeah, you're not trying- you, you can't Pendulum Summon Kirin, obviously. So it, it's not like it gives you an extra push, at least in the Magic Specter deck. In the actual Pendulum deck, whatever. But yeah, unbanning Kirin and unbanning Electrum is not the same thing. Unbanning Electrum, forget it. Like, it's, it's, it will destroy the game because that card is extremely annoying. It makes them lose- it, it makes them play through like every hand trap imaginable. But yeah, Kirin, whatever, who cares? Chicken game, another card that I just keep saying, who cares? It, it could go back to three and absolutely nobody would even consider playing this card. And the reason why I say that is because now your deck loses way harder to anti-spell. The only- the only way chicken game can really only be played would be either with Ancient Fairy Dragon and set rotation. That's it, but as a real Yu-Gi-Oh card, it, it, it sucks. It's, it's really not good. And also, if you can't FTK or make an unbreakable board with Chicken Game, uh, and also replace your Chicken Game afterwards, you lose the game because now we've got a Chicken Game on your on your board, and then your opponent draws one card, and then your opponent starts with, with seven cards. So you're basically just almost like transforming one of your opponent's cards in a hand into like a pot of greed. Uh, you're not trying to do that. Uh, giving a pl plus one to your opponent, hell nah. So yeah, no, it's, um, um, I'm, I'm just not a, a big fan of that card, so I will not consider playing that card. And also, usually you want to play Pot of Prosperity, like, as your draw card, quote-unquote, because you, you can either choose to draw, like, uh, to use draw cards like Upstart Goblin, Chicken Game, or Prosperity, or Extravagance, right? Uh, because they do conflict, and Extravagance Prosperity usually much better than Chicken, chicken Game Upstart, especially, again, in a world where Droll and Logbird is played. And Droll is another card that is getting much better uh, post this ban list. So yeah, also keep that in mind. And Anti-Spell, like I said, should have joined some Limit in the ban section, but I'm not going to complain too much. At least it got limited, at the very least. So yeah, thanks Konami for that. Uh, 
feel like so far they haven't really hit any deck in particular but rather cards i don't know if this was done on purpose i think it is because they still have to promote uh to promote uh, the fire decks a little bit more uh, especially infernoid which is uh, coming out in terminal world and also there's another wave of support for pure snake eyes in the um legacy of destruction set in the form of snake eye diabel star it's not going to be played in far king though and far king is getting far king consort Ulcanics uh some someday people people keep saying uh people keep saying that it's in legacy of destruction but they have uh no sources so i don't believe it anyways a semi-limited section we've got armageddon knight purely de delicious memory uh, so delicious at two i mean it's, it's still rng because uh, you're my friend it either gets delicious or it gets like something else it's not like it's a three where you're always getting it, but that's um, kind of getting into scary territory. So yeah, Purely is looking like a very, very, very good deck. Definitely in the top five best decks, honestly. And then Armageddon Night changes absolutely nothing to Yu-Gi-Oh! whatsoever. It's just not a, a, a really relevant card. I mean, it's a good card, don't get me wrong, but there is no Isolde either. So what are you going to do? Armageddon Night, Send Malicious, Summon Malicious, Summon Chaos Angel. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice deck you got there. Actually, no, I'm just kidding because Malicious is now a three! This is one of the cutest unlimits I've seen in a while because, again, Isolde is banned. So, Malicious is only really abusable in its own deck now, which is what should have been... I mean, it, sh it should have been the case since day one. <laughs> it should have never coexisted with Isolde because that that's when we saw, like, really degenerate things. Uh, Malicious at 3 is actually much better, uh, much bigger, I want to say, than any of these unlimits as well. Harpoor to 3 doesn't change much. Uh, because you're you have like infinite ways of getting to Harpoor. Anyways, you got Orcus Nightmare, uh, Mechanized Orcus, Mech Knight Orcus Gearsum, and all of your Armageddon Knight esque monsters. So it's you're you're never running out of Harpoors because you're also shuffling them back into the deck. And then Terra Top, whatever. I mean, it's it's not even like uh, back in 2015 when everybody was playing like three Terra Top with one Tech Tomborg. Uh, rank threes have been nerfed to death. Like MX Saber and Volker, uh, all those like insane summon from deck monsters just don't really exist anymore uh obviously there's still like mirage tally on those ones that are archetype specific but all the super generic degenerate ones they don't really exist so yeah i'm, I'm also fine with terra top and engage to three also doesn't really change much to the game although i will come back to that in a, in a second but malicious is really interesting so obviously it's the kind of card where having two malicious makes sense because it means that malicious can only summon malicious once but having three malicious makes it exponentially better because now one malicious is a plus two. You summon malicious twice. And when you are playing nemesis monsters, you just keep looping malicious over and over and over. So I can see hero also ending their turn on Thunder Dragon Colossus. It is one of those decks that can easily do that if you are not always locked under hero monsters only. I think that's one of the big issues for the deck. So I don't know if um, people are necessarily going to try doing that. And also you're going to definitely run into Nibiru. If you try to combo a little too hard and you are careless. So I, I don't know. Again, I mean, it could be like a really cute option. No, very, uh, just v very uh, insane card. Honestly, I, I can't believe I'm seeing the day where Malicious just got unlimited after being semi-limited semi -limited, semi -limited for like the 17th time. This card is like a roller coaster. I've seen it on the ban list like more times than I can, than I can count. It, it, I'm not even shocked at this point if it'll get semi-limited again in the near future. <laughs> I swear on my life, but yeah, uh, you can you guys can expect hero uh, combo videos and deck profile very soon because three malicious again, that's pretty nice. Uh, Orcus doesn't really change that much with three harp or it's not like the combos are any like more explosive. And then spirit or terror top to three. I, I do think this is like good for the P Sp speed word deck itself. It, it doesn't suck. It's actually a decent deck. Uh, I know that Kashtira Speedroid is a thing, so I might look into that. And then Sky Striker Engage doesn't change much, but I'll still make videos on that. You already know it. Uh, purely, yeah, I mean, it's again, it's just that there is less RNG now, but the deck is still just as good as it was before. Uh, I mean, obviously a little better, right? And then uh, for the limited section, uh, Arch Nemesis Protoss, I'm 100% making videos on Sword Soul. You guys have my word on that. <laughs> and then Title, I'll try to show you guys some lines with Title because. It can do some cute things, also in Tier Elements, where you can discard uh, Tier Elements, get Kalos and Reino Heart, and then you can Foolish whatever you want, but the, the Millers are banned, the Shizu uh, Mill 5 Monsterism. Colossus, I'm making billions of videos on that, you already know it. And then Kirin, I guess I can update my Magic Spectre video. Chicken Game, I can show you guys how, dra like how trash this card is, but also when it can be good, which, I mean, it can happen, but only in like 
degenerate FTK decks, which aren't really problematic anyways. And the reason why I say that they're not problematic is because they're not real decks. They, they only go first to make like an FTK or like a big board and then going second, they just all suck. And when you got one hand shot, then they cry. Uh, yeah, because if you can stop them uh, in their tracks and they end again on chicken game, it's, it's it spells really bad news for them. And yeah, anti-spell, uh, yeah, not really happy to see that card still exist, but it's fine. Better draw it. And again, uh, three summon limit and three anti-spell existed uh, this format. And yesterday at my, at my regional, I played none of them. So honestly, I don't really care too much. But as a matter of fact, I'm really happy because now I no longer have to like side removal against every single freaking deck. Every Floodgate should get banned. I swear to... I, I, I hate them for the bottom of my heart. But yeah, uh, these cards, whatever. Again, good riddance. And finally, Link Kribo. Good riddance again. So yeah, thanks Konami. I, uh, again, understand why they didn't hit any decks in particular. They rather wanted to boost some uh, kind of uh, hit uh, nerf decks. And they wanted to just decrease the power level of the existing decks by making it so that their extra deck was less good. Or, you know, like... Floodgates were just no longer a thing. Uh, recovery and dodging hand shafts just no longer like that much of an option because Link Rebo is not a not a thing now. So in the grand game, if you Veiler their Snake Eye Ash, it's not like they can dodge by going Link Rebo Grave Effect. Yeah, that is a little too good. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.